Okay, in this uh, tutorial here, we're going to go ahead and show the basics of using Fab 3000 Gerber editing software. Essentially, what I'm going to do is import a various set of Gerber files, uh, assign layer types, get all the prep work done, and then go ahead and view the Gerbers and then start doing some uh, basic editing features and showing you the ease and the ability that is that you're able to accomplish using Fab 3000. So the first thing I'm going to do in this case is I've started up FAT3000. I'm at the start page. And uh, what I'm going to select is the auto load feature. The reason I want this feature is that it will allow you to just pick a particular folder where maybe you've outputted all your Gerber and drill files. And then from that point, all you need to do is just select the folder and let FAT3000 worry about the rest. So it's a great little shortcut technique. So I'll select it. And because I've run this demo before, it already just happens to be on my folder with the sample Gerber files. But as you see, you can choose pretty much any folder you want. Uh, if you've got the data sitting on a network somewhere, you can just press this button right here and it'll allow you to browse and you can go from there and choose things from your network. So I'll choose this board right here. And then what we do is we come to this section. Now this is basically the grid where it allows you to uh, determine the different layer types and just make sure that you want to load all these files in. Uh, in the future, when you get really good at this, you can, let me go back here, just press the button finish and it will actually skip over the grid, load in all the data, and you're good to go from there. Uh, so anyways, in this case, what I'll do is, as you see here, Fab3000 has automatically detected each layer type for the different Gerber files. And the way it's done is by the Gerber file names themselves, which in general, you can probably tell about 90% of the time where the Gerber file is just by the naming convention. Uh, so if you have different named Gerber files, what you can do is click this button called Detect Layer Types. In here, uh, you can select, or basically just, because it's comma separated, you can enter in any particular name. So let's say, for instance, your top uh, metal layers always start with TT-something else. So you just simply put in TT, and what happens is when FAT3000 is loading in your Gerber files, it will look, if it finds TT anywhere in the string, it will go ahead and assign it as a top layer, provided that the top layer hasn't already been assigned to something else, as you can't have two top metal layers. Um, so that's done here. So now I'm going to go ahead and just import this in. And again, you can choose your default colors and things of that nature here, but I'm fine with everything. All right, great. So now I'm at the point where I've loaded in my uh, Gerber data here. And as you see, I can, using the mouse scroll wheel, I can zoom in zoom it out, drag it. I can use the little control bars here, just as you would do with pretty much any type of viewing software for anything. Uh, so in this case, what I want to do is let's go ahead and make some cute little modifications to our top layer. So what I've done is I just double clicked on this layer. It's a quick way to just get rid of everything else so I can just view one layer at a time. I can always click the light bulbs here if I so choose. But, you know, if I want to just quickly just look at one layer, I can do that. And, uh, one thing to mention really quick is, let's say, for instance, I need to set up the, the layer sorting as far as uh, determining which layer should be on top, uh, which layer should be on bottom, and everything else of that nature. Because a lot of times, you're just loading in Gerber files, which don't have any intelligence to tell it which should be top, which should be bottom, as far as the stack up order. What you can do is here, in this case, if I right click, it says it's the bottom type. So I can actually use the down arrow key here to have the top layer, ground, ground and then uh, the bottom layer set up here and you can also perform the same for your solder mask and everything else so I'll go ahead and do that just at this case just set up my layer sort so I put the solder mask on top and then I probably want to put the silk screen way on top of that and you'll see also that on the layer control here the layers are pretty much color coordinated per the layer type so it kind of gives you a good idea of uh, what you're looking at so we'll go ahead and set up this and this is my solder paste uh, I suppose I can go ahead and put that way at the top. So now I've got my layer stack up set up, uh, which is great at this point. And on the next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and start the editing of traces and other modifications. So again, just a quick review. We loaded in our Gerber files using Fab 3000, reviewed the layer types and other things of that nature. Uh, and then we've actually done the stack up now so and just show some basic layer viewing features. Thank you very much. And please try to listen to the next tutorial. Thank you.